Right. This is a, I thought this was a catchy uh, topic for this particular uh, section, mirror, mirror on the wall, how many squares are there, show them all. So what we are going to do in this section is to find out how many individual, how many squares are there in total or how many squares can be found in this figures that are shown here. For example, in this figure that you see here, um, how many squares are there? Normally, people say that, okay, I can see one, two, three, four. That's right. One, two, three, and four. Right? And, but in addition to that, the entire uh, figure is actually made, it makes one square. It makes a square of two rows by two columns, two by two square. We could call it as two by two square because there are two uh, rows and two columns, right? So that is another square. So in total, you can say there are four plus one, five square in this figure. Now let's go on to a slightly bigger figure that is shown here. In this case, also, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine individual squares. In other words, we normally call it this, there are three uh, columns here, sorry, three columns like this, and three rows here. So three by three gives you nine. So we have nine smaller squares. As you see here, we have written that down. And then we go for the next slightly bigger square. It should be something similar to that here. We can make a square out of this four square, right? And that would be a two by two square. So that's one two by two square. This is the second two by two square. And we'll have the third two by two square here and the fourth two by two square. So we have a total of four two by two squares. Now let's see if they, we have a slightly bigger square. The only other big square that we have is this whole one, which is a three by three square. That is three rows by three columns. That is this whole square, the big square. So that's plus one, right? So that uh, gives us the total number of uh, squares that can be formed using this figure or that can be found in this figure. So 9 plus 4 plus 1, that's 14. Now we move on to this even bigger figure with so many other squares here. Um, individual squares, it's easy to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 columns and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rows, 4 by 4, 16, so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Individual squares are there. So let's put that down. So we have a total of 16 individual squares. Now we are going to figure out what smaller squares can be formed here. So the next we go to is the 2 by 2 squares. That's 1 2 by 2 square that you see here. This is 1. And the next one is tricky, which is normally missed out, is this. See, there is one square I can make out of this also, right? And then you have one square here. So we have three two by two squares here in this row. And the next one is here. We figure out here that forms one square, again one here and one here. So that will be two, three. So another three. And we have another three here formed by the four squares there. So these are two by two squares, and we have three of them here. So three plus three plus three, that is nine. So we have nine two by two squares. Now let's move on to three by three squares. That is something like this here, right? So we have one by three square here right and then the second one would be this one this one can form a square a three by three square so that would be the second one the third one would be along these 
lines here. You can see that here. And the fourth one, fourth three by three square. So there are four three by three squares. So we have four. And are there any four by four squares? Yes, there is one big four by four square here. That's one. And so in total, we have 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1, which is 30, I guess. Uh, 20, 29, 30. Yes, right. Now, what we are going to figure out is, you know, if the these are perfect squares, just take note of that. This is a perfect square, and this whole thing is also a perfect square, and this is a perfect square, because the big picture that you see is also a square. And now, if the picture goes on growing like this, how can we figure out how many squares of the squares are there without having to do these kind of mapping? So there should be a pattern to how these things are arranged. Let's look at that. Now, we just go back to the basic uh, the diagrams. So we already know that there are four plus one um, squares here. So let what we're going to do is we're going to read write that. So what four plus one, I'm just going to write it as for ease of understanding. I'm going to put that as one plus four. And this four itself is actually one plus two by two times two. Or we can say one times one plus two times two. Right? So that can also be written as two to the power of two. Uh, if you're not familiar with the powers, just you can take it as 2 times 2 here. So if it is 2 to the power 2, it means 2 times 2, right? And if it is 2 to the power 3, it means 2 times 2 times 2. So that's about this. Maybe later we can just see that in detail, but you can at least understand this one, uh, portion, which is 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2. I've just put that 1 as 1 because 1 times 1 is 1. So I'm just leaving it as it is here. Now we come back here, we expand this, but before we expand, we reverse this and write it as 1 plus 4 plus 9. And you can see that this is 1 square, this is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and this is 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9. So I think you can understand how this is going right now, the pattern, and then this becomes 1 plus 2 square plus 3 square, or you can just write 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3. Similarly here, uh, what is this? We will write it back in terms of 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. Again, looking at it, you can clearly understand this is also the same 1 square or 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3 plus 4 times 4, which can also be represented as 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus Four square. So that is the total number of squares you can find in this uh, figure, right? So how do we know? Because it's a perfect square, the number of uh, rows, this is the rows, one, two, three, four, number of rows is equal to the number of columns, one, two, three, four, right? And if it's a four by four square, we can go ahead like this, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square. If it is 3 by 3 square, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. So that is the generic formula for finding out the number of squares in the figure shown. So let's try that out. How many squares are there in the figures given below? Let's say this, right? So if you are going to solve this problem, we just have to figure out how many rows or columns are there. One, two, three, four, five rows. And it's a perfect square because we have one, two, three, four, five columns as well. Five rows and five columns. And for this, from whatever we have learned so far, you can check this out later on your own. So we can write it as one plus two square plus three square plus four square plus five square, which is nothing but one plus four plus 3 squared, which is 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25. And this total, uh, there are methods to find out, even find this total easily, but for now we just go with this method. 
So this will give us a total of, uh, I think it should be, uh, to, this is 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So there are 55 squares here in this diagram. And in this diagram, this is a six by six uh, perfect square, this whole thing. And because it is six by six, the first thing would be six by six, six times six, 36 comes up here. That is the number of smaller squares and the number of uh, two by two, number of three by three, four by four, five by five squares are mapped out here. So we can use the same formula, one plus two times two plus three times three plus four, four times four up to the number of rows or columns that we have here, which is up to six here in this case. So, so the total number of squares here is this much. Here it's 55, uh, which I have not shown here. And here it's 10 and 30, uh, 30, 66, 86, 91. So this should be 91, right? So I hope this helps. Uh, this, what we saw, whatever uh, the uh, shortcut method or the uh, formula that we derived right now can be used for perfect squares. Remember that. Because what if uh, the figure is made up of squares, but it's a rectangle, then that's a different story. We will see that in the next uh, uh, video. So hope this is clear. If you have questions, uh, put them down in the comment section and have fun. Have fun solving problems like this. Have a great day. Bye.